Australia have the favourite in this one because uh, Kelsey Lee Barber is the world champion from Eugene. She threw the longest uh, distance in the world this year, 66.91, to take that gold a couple of weeks back. She's the silver medalist from four years ago. Starts as very strong favourite in that field. Now, Anurani opened with 55.61. Then a no-throw in the second round, no-throw in the third round for her. This is round four, and that is big from Rani. Well, she's a 63-metre thrower. She was seventh at the World Championships, eighth in uh, Doha 2019, and she hits that one really well. And Rani there with the uh, Australians out in front, 64 metres for Little in round one, 63 metres for Barbara in round one. They lead, but that's 60 metres exactly for Ranu in third place. Anurani opened with 55-61. Then a no-throw in the second round, no-throw in the third round for her. This is round four, and that is big from Rani. Well, she's a 63-metre thrower. She was seventh at the World Championships, eighth in uh, Doha 2019, and she hits that one really well. And Rani there with the uh, Australians out in front, 64 metres for Little in round one, 63 metres for Barbara in round one. They lead, but that's 60 metres exactly for Ranu in third place. Well, Rani, 60 metres in round four. That doesn't look like an improvement in round five. She's running out of opportunities, but she is in third place. But breathing down her neck is uh, Liz Gleedle of Canada, who's in fourth place with 59.79. The Canadian is 21 centimetres behind. That equates to, well, about eight inches, two and a half centimetres to the inch. 
58-15. This the athlete that could be responsible for that, Mackenzie Little. Australia seemingly heading for a 1-2. World Youth Champion back in 2013. Fifth at the World Championships for Little, and that's another big throw, and that's better, surely. Ah, oh, you could hear the reaction from the crowd there as they saw that one. Saw and saw. Look at it, beautifully flighted, getting the wind under it, holds it up aloft, and it punches through the air and comes down at 64.27. She adds a few more centimetres, 24 to be precise, almost exactly 10 inches eases a little further away from Kelsey Lee Barber, her compatriot. Well, there it is at the end of the fifth round, one throw each for the uh, eight in this women's javelin contest. So, Shilparani then, two runnies in this contest. This is Shilpa, she's a 59 meter thrower, only 54-62 in round two for her so far. No, that's about 49, nowhere near her 54 metre best. She will finish in seventh place, and she fouls out on that one on purpose. No point in uh, getting the officials. You're doing wonderful work out there to measure unnecessarily. Now, Joanne Van Dyke of South Africa. She's uh, in sixth place, is Van Dyke. Shil Parani then, finishing in seventh. Little fouling out in that final effort, will be fourth and 59-79. Here comes Anurani. And that outside the sector as well, how frustrating, but it's been a wonderful competition for the Eugene seventh placer. 63-82, three shoots he threw back in May, a national record in uh, Jamshedpur in India. A talent, instantly identified by a brother, Rupendra, who noticed her upper body strength and during a cricket game. And he began to train her by asking her to hurl sugarcane sticks in an empty field. Well, she's a Commonwealth bronze medalist now, is Anna Urani. And Australia are guaranteed gold and silver, but in which order? Here is the double world champion, Kelsey Lee Barber. Sixth and final round. She needs to find another metre or so to get past Little, her compatriot. Has she done it here? That looks big, it looks big, and it is big. 64-27 from Little in round five, holds the lead, but I think, I guess, Barber may have just found another few centimetres. Come the moment, come the champion, and it is enough. 64-43, oh boy, oh boy. Dear, oh dear, by 16 centimetres, she has eased past her compatriot, Mackenzie Little, who, with two personal bests already in this contest, has now got to find a third if she wants to get gold back. 64-43, Kelsey Lee Barber, bronze medalist in 2014, silver medalist in 2018, may be heading for gold unless Mackenzie Little here can deny her. Is it far enough? Is it far enough? Is it far enough? No, it's not. It's about 61 metres. And at the penultimate throw of the contest from these eight competitors, Kelsey Lee Barber has stolen the gold from her compatriot, Mackenzie Little, who has led since the first round. A contest for her that results in silver, Mackenzie Little, but Kelsey Lee Barber, well, showing her metal once again as a true champion. That is a wonderful response to a challenge thrown down by her compatriot. They can go back to Australia as gold and silver medalists. Kelsey Lee Barber, double world champion, now Commonwealth champion. And she has the full set from the last three Commonwealth Games. Bronze eight years ago, silver four years ago, gold today here in Birmingham. Mackenzie Little, I suspect, will be pretty satisfied with that silver and a couple of personal bests on the day. And finally, Tim, one of our world champions from Eugene, <laughs> along with Amusan, delivers a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. Super stuff. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Really, really good.
wasn't it just Anurani celebrating yet another medal for India this is surely unprecedented for the Indians confirmation of the result in the women's javelin Kelsey Lee Barber the world champion becomes Commonwealth champion at the third time of asking silver for little of Australia and Anurani a brilliant bronze